Yeah, it was a uh, it was a good show. It's a good show. I came here. It was the first time in a year that California had a crowd again, and I just wanted to give them a good show, and that's what I think we did. Uh seven out of ten. We still got the stoppage. I think we could have got stoppage a little bit earlier if we started using our maybe our distance. But I, like I said, I like to fight, and that's just part of me. Yeah, he, he, he hit me with punches. This is boxing, especially if I'm gonna be fighting in the close uh, close range. Uh, it's gonna happen. But uh, hurt at any time? No. Every time he hit me, I wanted to hit him two times back. Hey, Sebastian, congrats on the win. Seems like you're steadily building up your competition and getting better every fight. So do you think next fight is the one where you really fight the contender or are you still a few fights away? Uh, we're, we're, right now, we're ranked number 10 ring magazine. So I want everybody above us. Everybody above us. This was just another test, another title eliminator. So who knows? Whatever the team has for us, we'll, we'll take it. Yeah, 154 is obviously loaded, especially when it comes to PBC. You have Guys like Julian Williams, uh, Terrell Gache, um, obviously Danny Garcia said he's moving up to 54. Is there a name when you look at the rankings that you say, you know what, I want that guy next? Well, who are the champions in the division? We have Charlo and we have Castaño. Those are the two guys that I think everybody wants to fight, but they're having their unification in a couple months. So we'll see from there. But uh, if anything, I just want those belts. I want to become a champion in this division. But who do you want next? Like when you like, who, who do you think would be the perfect fight for you next? Whoever they have for us. Whoever they have for us. I don't get to pick this. Uh, got to tuck it over with my team, but uh, whatever they have for us. Last one to go, please, Andrew. Andrew, take it away. Thanks, Kelly. Our first question is going to come from Carlos Toro with Fight Game Media. Carlos, please unmute yourself and you can ask your question. Hey, Sebastian. Thank, uh, thanks so much for taking time to uh, talk to us and congratulations on the win. You, you, you mentioned, you know, wanting to phase, you know, anybody that's ranked above you. But when it comes to obviously Charlo and Castaño, and you've won a couple of title eliminators already, is there a time frame that maybe you personally would like to see and maybe push to potentially fight the winner of that or fight for a world title, 154 pounds? Uh, I, like I said, I can't make that decision myself. I have to talk about my team, but uh, maybe in a couple of years, maybe this year, maybe next year, you know, whatever, have, whatever PBC and my father and um, um, Samson has planned for us. Thanks, Sebastian. Mm -hmm. All right. Thanks, Carlos. Our next question is going to come from J.R. Bell. J.R., please unmute yourself. Say what outlet you're with and ask your question of Sebastian. Uh, yes, this is J.R. Bell from The Boxing Source. Uh, Sebastian, uh, you did talk about, you know, going after anybody that's ranked in the top 10 in Ring Magazine. There is an upcoming fight with Eric Lubin and Jason Rosario, with Rosario being a former champion. So, that could be a potential fight for you in the future. What about that one? Oh, if they give us the chance to fight one of those top 10 fighters, we'll definitely take it. But like I said, I can't pick them. They never, we never pick it. They just give, give us who, who they want and then we'll take that fight. Now, what do you think about your development as a fighter there in the ring going after uh, this particular performance that you had here against Coda? We're going. We're going with every performance. This guy's a tough guy. This guy, everybody said that he was a tough guy and that he was going to give me problems because he's a, a veteran in the sport. And I think we, we handled it really well. We handled it really well. We, we used our power. We used our range at times for the stoppage. And, and we did what we had to do. All right. Thanks, JR. Our next question is going to come from Michael Rueda. Michael, please unmute yourself. Say what outlet you're with and ask your question. Hi, this is Michael Reda from 26 Sports. First, Sebastian, good performance, man. Uh, congratulations on the win. Thank you. Um, during the fight, I mean, obviously you got hit with some punches. Uh, did you feel any of his power or was it just, you know, another day in the park for you and you're able to walk through it as, as it seemed to us that you were doing? Yeah, I just feel like it was walk through it. Uh, I feel like he hit me with his best and we took it fine. And uh, every time, like I said, every time he tried to hit me, we tried to hit him two times back or two times harder. Were you surprised at all that, uh, you know, early on in the fight when you were catching him with punches that he seemed to be taking them pretty well and then, you know, eventually you did get to him, but... I feel like he uh, anticipated the power, so he braced himself for those punches and he was able to handle it in the beginning, but uh, 
we plan to wear everybody down when we fight them. That's just our style. And, 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 it, and it showed that, that eventually he slowed down and the punches started adding up and he was hurt. All right. Thanks, Michael. And thank you, Sebastian. That's it for the questions from Zoom. Okay. Enjoy Anyone the win. Here? Thank you. There you go. Sebastian, first, Sebastian, first of all, man, congratulations. Thank you. How how satisfying was this victory? I know you you mentioned you wanted to you wanted to stop them sooner than, than three rounds. Uh, were you satisfied with the stoppage in terms of referee stepping in? You thought, you know, he had more in him. No, uh, I think the stoppage is fine. Uh, like I said, well, we can plan for a knock at the first round, the second round. Uh, things don't always happen the way you want it to happen in boxing or in any sport. So uh, I'm just happy that we got the win and we got the win in the stoppage form. And now uh, we, we gave the crowd their money's worth.